So welcome back to some more Pokemon Scarlet. Last time, we did some stuff by talking to Director Clavel and about the rematches with all the gym leaders. Made our way back to the Great Crater to go and catch the really mean Coridon that killed Arvin's mother. Yeah, what a great turn of events, huh? <laughs> this time, we are back over in Cortando because we got some rematches to take care of. So, in this little arc of the journey, this is pretty much the last thing you can do mainline stuff. Which is rematching all the old gyms. Uh, you can choose any, when, any of them you wish, because they are all at the same levels. So it really doesn't matter which one you choose. I'm going to choose the order we went in, because I think it's most applicable. So let's do it. Back on over. Sup, lady. My name's... Uh, yeah, I know. A uh, new champion everyone's talking about. Is this actually you? Sure is. I'm better than you. I mean, granted, you use bug-type Pokemon. What do you expect? Although there are very few good bug types that are actually overpowered. Such as my own, <laughs> Amaterasu. Let's do it. Because I got a feeling I could just burn through your team. So, yeah. Now, we could technically go after even more legendary Pokemon if we so wish. There, yes, there are actually other legendary Pokemon besides Coridon. Well, and I guess by extension, Maridon. But, as of right now, um, I think it's just better to go after the gym leaders for the moment. So, uh, yeah. Let's go fight them again. It's actually kind of cool that we get to rematch them. So, she's going to start with Glow Kicks. This thing's a bug dark type, so basically, I think we'll be fine. <laughs> don't expect me to be, so, uh, be sweet today, and don't cry when you taste bitter defeat. It's, a, it's, it, they're just bugs. It's a bug that is weak to its own typing, by the way. Fiery Dance. I don't think she has a Volcarona, in which case, if she does, I'll probably just overpower it because of the stat buffs from Fiery Dance. Seriously, why did they think this was a good idea to give this Pokemon this move? Dear God! Fortress. Uh, that thing's most likely gonna live. So, I hope it doesn't do explosion, because that's th this thing is prone to spamming explosion. Because usually what people do is use it with Sturdy so that it lives on 1 HP, and then they explode and then take out whatever it was trying to take down. Stone it. Oh, God. You one-shot it. Oh, because the crit. I was like, how the hell? You were a defensive tank and nothing else. Why the hell? Alright, first of all, Squilliam, go in there. She's probably going to heal. Into which case, I'm also going to heal because that was utter bullshit. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, but that should not have won. I mean, yeah, a crit, I know. And I'm quad weak to it, but like... This thing is a bug steel type with like no attack. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't get it. I don't, <laughs> I don't get it. I'm just gonna heal up because this is supposed to be Amaterasu's fights, but the fortress had to be weird and have sturdy and just one tap me with Stone Edge because for some reason this thing has it. All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for complaining, but seriously, why the hell does this thing have Stone Edge? Ugh, anyway, Earth Power, die. You'll die in one hit because you only have one HP. There we go. Easy does it. And I lost my special attack buffs, man. Heracross. This thing could actually kind of be dangerous. This thing's really fast, but I'm pretty sure Amaterasu's can be faster. Heracross is actually one of my favorite bug types because it's a bug fighting type. And if it has a very specific ability, which I think it's Guts... Uh, basically, if you put on a status and, uh, ailment upon it, it, like, doubles its attack, which is stupid. Yeah, Fire Dance, we're faster. Bad thing with Heracross, though, not very good defenses, sadly to say. But yeah, really should have just thought about using a Volcarona, just saying, Katie. Spide Ops, uh, okay, sure. I really wish Spide Ops was better, because it looks so cool. Its arms look like the uh, the cereal straws they used to make in the early 2000s. Why don't they bring those back, man? Everyone's complaining about you know plastic straws and how crappy paper straws are. 
Bring back the cereal straws. Just start making them into snacks. Anyway, <laughs> besides that, we now have Ursa Ring. Perseverance is important for bug types. It's time to leap toward victory. As you send out a normal type. Yeah, this is the same, uh, well, her Teddy Ursa turned into this now. I'm not gonna terastalize, I don't think there's any point. Let's do Fire Dance, and this once for all. My sweet little bear, that, that is not a little bear. That is a giant bear that could shred you in an instant. Like, in an instant. Dear God, are you insane? Ursa Ring is cool though, I actually really like Ursa Ring. It's a bug Ursa Ring for some reason, I don't get it either. There's probably some weird connection that is like, hey, it's like this weird folklore story, but yeah, I don't get it. Anyway, it's dead, so. <laughs> either way, it goes down in an almost flawless victory. Surprisingly, her fortress was the most dangerous thing on her team, considering it actually killed one of my Pokemon. I don't get it either. There we go. Merge from your chrysalis and become a beautiful new you. What? <laughs> what the hell connection is that? If I heard someone say that you emerged from your chrysalis, I'm running the opposite direction. Your culinary teacher. What? And also, you don't get any, like, extra badges or anything like that. You get some good money, though. Later, Katie. Is there something on top of the built? I have to check that. One down, seven more to go. I want to check what was on top of the building there. I saw something glowing. If there was an item there this entire time, well, one, I'm gonna be very weirded out, but also kind of like dumbfounded. Oh wait, there's no way to, oh, there's no way to get up there, I don't think. Up, oh, there's this, but I don't think that's what it was, that, that's draining kiss. I somehow don't have that. Okay, can I, like, see what's on top? Uh, oh god. Doze off for a sec. Yeah, now you have a giant lizard in your backyard. Is there actually anything up there? I would have seen it glowing at this point. Alright, sorry. Sorry to get sidetracked. I saw something. It looked weird. I wanted to look for it. Anyway, next up, um, I guess we'd be going over to Artisan. So, yeah, meet you guys on over there. Was she kind enough to heal me? Okay, she was. She was. Um, I'm gonna be weird and use Kaiju. We've been using a lot of Amaterasu lately, so. Uh, I'm starting to regret naming every <laughs> Pokemon, damn near every Pokemon on my team after Japanese words, but they're cool and they're applicable, damn it. I think I, I mean, I like the names anyway, but anyhow, let's head on over here. Let's go face on our weird art guy again, who is definitely not Yusuke Kitagawa. <laughs> Sup, buddy? And who the hell are you? On the Why did you smile? Oh, Jesus! <laughs> There's so many things happening and I'm scared. Uh, it's champion, actually. That is of no consequence. Oh, God. Uh, very glad you are here. Praise Mother Nature. What? I have planned to meet with the top champion today, but I've now can canceled that plan. Shall we instead talk, uh, talk of art together? Sure. Whatever makes you... Bloom, I guess. Also, this guy on the left is just listening to everything. Uh, sure. I'm scared now. I need an adult. But, like, an adultier adult. Like, an adult that actually knows what they're doing. Because, seriously, there are just... <laughs> Most adults you know of are just really big kids. And that's pretty much all they are. Why do you think bullies are still a thing? Uh, sure. I knew you would understand my reasoning. What? I didn't even look at what you said, because apparently in this world, the only way we can communicate is by reading each other's text bubbles. Who is the old lady next to you? I'm questioning too many things. Lilligans! Love that Pokemon's cry. Start off with Kaiju. Let us ponder the art we will create together. That, I don't like that. Uh, alright. You're getting into some Chris Hansen levels there. Icicle Crash. I'm just gonna... Get that out of here. Starting with a burn and now going with a freeze. Kind of the same th uh, kind of curse with bug types. Grass types have a lot of weaknesses. Serena. That's actually a good Pokemon. That is a very good choice. 
Uh, fighting grass type. So, right, I don't have a dedicated flyer, but I do have something with play rough. So there we go. I'm actually kind of scared for once we go and fight uh, the psychic gym leader again, because she has a lot of psychic fairies, and well, fairies are not exactly something we're strong against. <laughs> we'll just say that much. Play rough. Trop kick. That did a lot of damage, and my attack fell. Okay, thanks. Play rough. Wow, that does not do a lot. What? Okay. Um, is foul play gonna do more? Uh, right. I okay. Well, one. I didn't even know she had that move. That's kind of dumb that she does have that. Okay, fine. Go to Amaterasu. That's like the only Pokemon I'll be able to out. Uh, was it outspeed? And also, yeah, we have the champion moniker for each Pokemon now because. We're all champions here. Fiery Dance, burn. I'm pretty sure it does have a fighting type move. I've used one on a team before, and I think in Pokemon Sun and Moon, actually. That's probably when I used it. All right, Breloom. That's definitely a fight, or a, was it grass fighting type? I'm just gonna stay with Amaterasu for this one. At least until we just get pure grass types. All right, Fiery Dance. And also, can I just say, I have never been a fan of Breloom. Every time I have heard somebody talk about the Shroomish line, it's been like nothing but praise. I never liked it. Every time I try the Breloom line, it's just not good. I don't know why, it's just, maybe I'm just not using it right or something, but like, I try to use Breloom and it just kinda sucks compared to like all the other fighting types in my opinion. And plus it gets it a quad weakness to flying, it gives it a weakness to psychic. Like, it's just, I don't know. I'm not much of a fan. Arbol, uh, Ar Arbolova, though, I really like this Pokemon. Icicle Crash. I'm surprised I'm landing these. There goes that. Seed pa Oh, right, Seed Sour. Or Sower, not Sour. What the hell? Sower. That's the right word. I know my words today. Already on your last Pokemon, Sudowoodo. Keep in mind, this thing has Sturdy. This work's concept is the deep-rooting nature of plants. And Briar's thorns are not easy. I don't even know what you said the last thing. Well, it's just Sudowoodo. Um, yeah. I guess I'll just try to, yeah, I'll try land at Icicle Crash. I do hope this work li lives up to my expectations. I shall call it Truly Wudo Part 2. You're so weird. I still like your luxury balls, though. That's, uh... Very nice choice. A pure grass pseudo wudo, which actually probably makes it worse, because rock's actually not bad as a defensive typing. I mean, it's weak to a bunch of stuff, but it's tanky. And of course, that is the first time I miss with Ice School Crash. Are you kidding me? Uh, what are you gonna do? I am technically weak to rock. Trailblaze. Uh, that's a grass type move, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay, that's odd. Oh, you're trying to at speed everything. But now I'm healing after every turn, so it's not gonna matter. Can I land this, please? Thank you. Bonk. Well, I didn't activate Sturdy. Why do you have Stone Edge? Well, actually, that makes sense. You have Stone Edge, never mind. Yeah, Sto Stone Edge. Stone Edge. Derp. Alright, Ice Fang. I'm gonna try to go to for, for the confirm. There we go. Also, did I just whip my tail to bite something? <laughs> I mean, I've seen this complaint throughout the entirety of the community that, you know, the animations in this game make no sense, but now that I've seen that, it's like, yeah, it really does not make sense, huh? And that's funny. Don't look at me like that. Avant-garde, apparently. You look more pissed than anything. R riot ch ri What the hell is that word? What are these words they're trying to teach me? I don't want to do a learn, it's hard. It's hard for my pea brain. Eh, whatever. That's uh, two down, though. And only halfway through the episode, too. I'm hoping we'll at least get through four of them by, uh, before the end of the, today's episode, because that'd be cool. Uh, I'm trying to remember who we go after next. I think we go after Iono? Actually, I can check when I pop open the map. Because if you go all the way out, yeah, so, okay, we went 
there. Where was two? Two was there, three was there, four was there, and then five was you, so next is Iono. Okay. Just trying to make sure we're going in the right... Uh, you didn't even heal my Pokemon! Katie healed my Pokemon! Why didn't you? Okay, whatever, I gotta go heal anyway. Whatever, stupid. <laughs> God. Okay, uh, can I talk to the right person? Thank you. It feels weird being out here again. We've spent so many... So many or so much time in the great crater that like now that we're back outside it feels like a giant world again. I will say though, Great Crater is still my favorite area of this entire game. Um I've unlocked the Oh yeah, the judge function. So yeah, if you go through the Hall of Fame, you can now look at your EVs on all your Pokemon. I forgot about that. So yeah, go into here and then you press uh where's the there. Wait, where? Wait, how do you... Do you have to do it in boxes? Oh, yeah, you do. So, yeah. So, we have great stats. Okay. Oh. What the hell? Okay, yeah. That's why we... Uh, ha that's why Matarasu is really good. Matarasu is really good Eevees. Wow. Okay. Great stats. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Not too bad. Wow. Uh, that explains why Matarasu is wrecking through everything, because... She has really good EVs just by herself. Anyway, I'll meet you guys back on over to Lavincia. And just in case the game crashes again, because the last time we were here, the game crashed, I am just going to say because I am not doing those fights on over again. Why are you walking around with a, a Magnemite? Okay, whatever. I, I don't get it either. Oh, at least we don't have to do any of the gym challenges, at least. So, we just gotta go and fight the gym leader. So, let's go do that. Back in here. Sup, Iona? Uh, Primera. What? That, that, I'm not Primera. Uh, hello, hello, hola, ciao, and bonjour. Yeah, it's me. I mean, yeah, we are champions. Well, I'm a champion. Who are you talking to? Why are you just randomly street? You're definitely a public street, like, vlogger. Into which I want to punch you. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, man. If I was out in public and I see someone vlogging like that, I just, ah. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Do whatever you want to do. But, like, it's just annoying, in my opinion. I've never seen anybody do it, but I just, I would get annoyed just by hearing somebody start vlogging in the middle of the street. And, oh god, what is happening? I can't read those. Hi. Why are you so zoomed in? What the hell? Trend like crazy. Just make sure you don't start selling bath water. Uh, you know, you're already crazy enough as it is. What, what is this angle? Alright, whatever. Another fight? With Iono. Who I actually really like. Kilowatts are all okay. This is a terrible decision. Well, this I do not have the right Pokemon for this. Eyes wide open like a Magnemite, so you don't miss a thing. What? I don't get it. Okay, I'm swapping <laughs> real quick to Kaiju because this is not a good Pokemon for this fight. I am weak to flying, and that is a flyer. I don't know if you couldn't tell. It has wings. It's kind of a giant flying bird. Uh, Tailwind. All right, that's just. That's just going to make sure her Pokemon move first for a few turns. Uh, oh, right. And it has that ability. Uh, try to go Ice Fang. Hurricane. Well, you missed. That is why I do not use Hurricane. That is a terrible move, in my opinion. Ice Fang. Gotcha. Sorry, giant bird. Okay. Electrode. That's a very strange Pokemon. Uh, go to Squillium. Electrode's a pure electric type, so we don't got anything to worry about there. So we'll just go and take care of that. Yoink. We haven't had a lot of Squillium pop up here, so I'm glad we get to use Squillium once again. I mean, this was his debut fight as well, back when he was a Toad School. So, Earth Power. Electric Terrain. I believe that increases the speed of all the electric type Pokemon, or any electric type Pokemon there on the field. So there we go. 
I am surprised that didn't kill. Wow. Magnet Rise. Uh, great. That's going to make you immune to ground type moves. Why didn't I even expect? I don't, I, I don't, you know what? That's my fault. I didn't even think about Electrode having that. All right. Uh, just Giga Drain then. Foul play. Why do you, what is your move set? You have Magnet Rise and Electric Drain, but you attack using a Dark type move. Like, Thunderbolt would have... Well, actually, I, you can't even hit me with... That's probably why it's not using an electric type move. Never mind, I'm stupid. <laughs> Luxray. Um, I'm pretty sure Magnet Rise only works on the Pokemon that you, it used it on, so Electrode was the only one. And yeah, Clear Amulet. Get screwed. Earth Power. Yeah, so it was only working for that Electrode. Man, these Pokemon are tanky. Uh, I am glad I dodged that. Holy crap, that would have been bad. Let's do Giga Drain. Get any little bit of health we can. Uh, how much was that? Actually, not a bad amount. Okay. Pretty cool. Sorry, Luxray. I actually really like you as a Pokemon. Alright, Electricity's gone. And then Belly Bolt. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna stay with Squilliam. Squilliam can probably take down most of her team, but once she... She still has them as Magius, so... Once she brings that out, I'll, I will have to swap because it has Levitate. Ow. Earth Power. Boink. I actually really like these rematches, though, because these uh, Pokemon are no pushovers. They can easily take down your own Pokemon. Like, it is, they're fun fights. I think they're pretty well done. There we go. And at least there's no weirdo, like, thing you had to go do, like in Pokemon Heart Gold and Souls Over, where you had to go and get each of the gym leader's phone number to just even try to rematch. Anyway. <sighs> my pain is my suffering. I'll go to Amaterasu. I... Th oh, wait. This thing might have Power Gem. Eh. We'll see what happens. If it has Power Gem, then whatever. But I'm I'm loving the little subtitle of the Paul Day Inn cha uh, champion. Quit hog in the limelight. I mean, just take the camera off of me then. And also, you're in the shade. Like, what do you think is going to happen? Uh, We'll do Fiery Dantis gonna be stab shiny little light bulb be the invention that leads me to victory what I don't know is the one that confuses me the much uh, uh, the most apparently I really like her design though she's very cute anyway just remember this thing has levitate which means it has no weakness unless if you do some weird stuff so keep that in mind I guess that's why they wanted to use Miss Magius for this fiery dance Oh, that, wow, that does less damage than I thought. I mean, I'll take her down next turn, but still. Shadow Ball. Okay, Cri that was a crit. Wow. Matarasu's really got some good stats, Jesus. I mean, like, part of me wonders, like, why is Matarasu so overpowered? But then, like, I just kind of dumbed it up. It's like, well, it's just Volcarona being Volcarona. Yeah, no. It's just, <laughs> she came with really good EVs right off the bat. I just got lucky. There we go. Is Magius down? And, well, alongside that, I don't know. Pretty good. You were definitely tougher than the last two, I'll give you that. Our brand spanking new champions, hot stuff. What? I'm like 12 in this game. You know what, whatever. Not super happy about losing. Man, how do you never run out of phone battery? Just saying. Or is this like the 20th phone you own? <laughs> I don't get owning a bunch of phones, just saying. I still can't read that. That's not a... Okay, whatever. But there we go. Um, of course he... Why was... I, I, okay, maybe she didn't heal me? I don't know. Or actually, maybe it's just because I never took damage against uh, Katie. Like, except for when Amaterasu went down, and then which I healed her off immediately. But, yeah, that's all of the uh, gym... Well, not all of them, but, like, the ones we can go and take care of right now before going over the time limit. I'm getting away from this place before the game decides to die. That is not a good, uh, a good thing to happen right now. But, anyway, 
Now that we've done all that, I'm going to leave things off there. So, next time on Pokemon Scarlet, we'll be taking down even more of the gym leaders once again. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.